recently I got fed up with my little 13 inch laptop screen so I decided to go out and get this humongous screen. This is a 27 inch 4K monitor by HP and you guessed it right it's called the 27F 4K. Today I'm not just going to talk to you about this monitor but I'm also going to give you one, two, three, four, actually five nifty little tips and tricks on how you can use windows on such a large screen to boost your productivity. Let's get right in. Why should you get a 4K monitor you might ask? 4K is pretty high resolution. You get four times the pixel count of full HD, that's 1080p. 1080p is still the ultimate clarity according to most people and in fact the vast majority of videos even here on YouTube are made and watched in 1080p but there's no denying that manufacturers have continued to push the limits and even 8K TVs and cameras are now out there in the market. By the way, 720p used to be called HD but for a few months now even YouTube has stopped labeling 720p as HD. But it seems that we can never really get satisfied with pixels, we tend to just go for more and more. Whether or not your naked eye can see all these pixels is a debate for another day but for now yeah. Even I have been uploading my recent videos in 4K for no other reason but just for future proofing. Interestingly, though I've been making 4K videos, I didn't really have a monitor that I could watch my own videos out of, you know. So yeah, I was actually watching them back in 1080p like the majority of you guys, so you see, we're in the same boat. To cut the long story short, yeah, that was the main reason for going out to get a 4K monitor. Now, let's talk about refresh rate. This HP monitor does 60 hertz in 4K. 60 hertz is nothing to tell your friends about, seeing as monitors are being churned out from MSI, ASUS and so on with refresh rates of up to 360 hertz. But the point is those are intended for gaming especially with the new RTX 3000 series graphics cards coming out. But if you are a gamer maybe it would console you a little bit to note that this monitor actually has AMD FreeSync. So yeah screen tearing will be smoothed out for a better experience in gaming but I'm personally not a gamer I don't even know how to use those game controllers to be totally honest. I'm all about productivity you know and talking about productivity for a lot of what I do on the monitor and that is video editing, schoolwork and such other stuff this 27F4K does actually well. Its color accuracy is good not unless you are a severe pathological nitpicker. And that brings me to my first and probably biggest bump in productivity when using this monitor and that's the sheer screen real estate that for me coming from a 13 inch laptop display the difference is literally night and day. When video editing on Premiere Pro for example I can see a ton of the many little details on the app without needing to keep scrolling here and there. And that brings me to today's first tip. If you are using windows on such a large display you don't really need to maximize most of the windows like you do on a smaller display. Most applications are designed to work on smaller monitors and there is no advantage to spreading them all over the screen. If the application simply stretches the contents of the window across the entire screen, you are not really benefiting from that extra space and again, it's much easier to focus on one area of the screen rather than moving your head up and down left and right because the truth is, the whole of such a wide screen cannot really fit into your field of view. But you know what can actually fit in your field of view, productivity and digital life videos. If you are getting value from this kind of videos, Consider subscribing and we'll keep exploring ideas to improve our lives and so that you do not miss any of the many upcoming videos be sure to click the notification bell just next to the subscribe button below. And for all you new friends over here welcome aboard let's continue with the chat down in the comment section below. Moving on swiftly to the next tip when you are using such a large screen you definitely need to leverage the power of Windows Snap. Snap lets you snap any of your windows to any half or quadrant of the screen which is awesome especially when you are working on multiple windows. You just drag the app's title bar to an edge or to one side of the screen and the app simply arranges itself in its own space. And at the moment that the app is placed using this feature snap assist also comes into play and it helps you to snap other apps in the leftover space. So you can snap one window to the right, another window to the top left, another to the bottom left and so on. And you can also use keyboard shortcuts to snap windows like windows left will snap a window to the left, windows left then windows down will snap a window to the bottom left edge, 
you get the idea, you know. So back to the HP 27F 4K. This monitor has quite some adjustability, which is a great thing. The stand provided here allows you to adjust tilt, height, and swivel, though rotation to vertical mode is missing. And there goes another tip, especially when you're writing or coding, it's always nice to rotate your monitor to 90 degrees if your monitor can do that, so that you can use it sort of in portrait mode. Too bad this HP 27F 4K does not support that. Another downside is that it lacks a vest mount, so the monitor cannot be hung on a wall. Anyway, I guess you can't really ask for everything, considering that not many 4K monitors come in at way less than $1,000 like this one. Now over to the port selection over here, we get two HDMI ports, which are actually HDMI 2.0, I think, 2.0B, which is great. And uh, we also get DisplayPort 1.4. That may not sound like much, but for productivity use cases, you'll really need much more than that. And that has been more than adequate for me. Did you know this Windows feature that is awesome at getting rid of all distractions on your desktop? Windows has a cool shake feature. You simply grab an app that needs your undivided attention by its title bar and give it a little wiggle back and forth with your mouse. And the other apps that you have open will be minimized. That's a cool little tip, right? But once you are ready to reclutter your desktop, give the same app another wiggle to bring back the rest of your 999,999 apps. Yeah, and uh, continue with your crowd on the desktop. And finally, the fifth tip for today is, well, tips. Once you've gotten hooked on being productive and efficient, it's common to want more. And for that, Windows 10 has a built-in app called Tips. You know, simply type Tips into the search box and launch it. If you don't have it, head over to the Windows Store and uh, search for Microsoft Tips. Then thank me later. Or no, just thank me right now by clicking the like button under this video. Is that too much to ask? I guess not. See you guys in the next one. For now. No pressure.